to Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 17, so you can see what it says. But look, this isn't for me. It's also for you. Because how many times do you not see yourself depressed at home and you see yourself a sinner and like nothing depressed? And what does God say about you? No, I perfected you. I cast out the body of sin. You are in a clean conscience. You are a God. You are clean. You're such as I am, beloved. Then you enter into depression because suddenly you disconnect. It's the same thing when you say, God, Jose Luis, is God for me. I hear it, and then I disconnect from that, and I say, oh, Lord, what will, can I do with this? And God says, don't be ignorant. They're looking at you in the flesh. In the flesh, you are just any other, as Jesus in Nazareth was, another in the likeness of sinful flesh. But if you are a God, I am a God. We are all gods. Now, notice what Deuteronomy ch chapter 10, verse 17 says. It says, For the Lord, Jehovah, in those days, for the Lord your God is God of what? Gods and Lord of what? Lords. Moses had already been speaking of this. God is not a God of horses, nor flesh, nor cows. God is a God of gods. So if on the cross he removed the body of sin, did he remove it on the cross? Then you're not a sinner. You are a perfect being. That is what you are, but from the saying to the manifestation, there's a great path. So God says certain things about you as he says of me. The problem is to be fulfilled and complete in what God says you are. That's a battle. It takes years. Don't take years to confess them, but for them to be patented in your mind, to they develop in your soul. Here, you confess it here, but when you get home, you get phone calls and you enter into moments of tribulation and challenges with your spouses many things begin to happen or you eat something and you wake up the next day not feeling well and there you're expected every time you come here i am what god says i am then the angels come and say let's see if it's true and there's when they Turn up the test of fire, and there's where it begins the graduation. The furnace of fire begin to take the garbage out of the metal. That's where the detail lies. You believe in what Jesus Christ did when he circumcised you with a circumcision not performed by hand? He gave his life for you to make you who you, are, who you are. And only in that way, you're going to experiment the transformation of your body. God cannot transform a body that thinks that he is still a sinner. 